We turn now to the disturbing new evidence in the Ghislaine Maxwell trial. The jury shown photos of underage girls found in Jeffrey Epstein's Palm Beach mansion. The prosecution arguing Maxwell was in charge of that household and is guilty of luring those girls into a web of abuse. Stephanie Gosk reports. Ghislaine Maxwell's defense described Jeffrey Epstein's homes as small boutique hotels. They were very luxurious, her attorneys told the jury. They were vacation spots. Today in court, the prosecution challenged that description with what they called disturbing evidence from Epstein's Palm Beach mansion, seized during this search of his home in 2005, the video obtained by NBC News. The jury was shown a photo that was in the entrance to Epstein's master bedroom of an underage girl posing in a, quote, sexualized position. There was another photo of Epstein posing with a minor in her underwear. Prosecutors arguing the photos, alongside testimony from a former property manager, undermines the defense's argument that Epstein was an upstanding member of society. We can hear about uh, his conduct with regard to young girls, but to see them, I think, really puts into perspective their age, their youth, their innocence, uh, the kind of conduct that was occurring at his home. And so I think photos can be extremely powerful. The property manager, Juan Alese, testified he saw Epstein and Maxwell interacting with hundreds of women, some of them underage. Over the decade, he was employed by the convicted sex offender. Maxwell is charged with six counts of human trafficking, luring teenage girls for Epstein to abuse. What they're saying is Jelaine Maxwell is also to blame for her own role, her own conduct. And so some of the things we've heard so far is about how she recruited some of the girls, how she groomed them, how she uh, normalized sexual behavior. And that's a really big and important part of the success of his scheme. The prosecution also introduced a 58-page manual handed out by Maxwell to staff with strict and specific rules, like never disclose Mr. Epstein or Miss Maxwell's activities or whereabouts to anyone. And remember that you see nothing, hear nothing, say nothing. Staffers were also ordered to keep a gun placed in the bedside table drawer. She was a, a strict enforcer of those rules as well as the author of those rules. So I think that is the fact that's really important here is casting her in this leadership role. Another incredible day in court. Stephanie Goss joins us now here on set. And Steph, it seems with the video that we saw in your story, prosecutors are trying to tell a story here and something pretty remarkable happened in court today, right? Yeah. And it was an incredible day in court, you know, and I want to take you back a little bit to this house manager, Juan Alese, who said that Ghislaine Maxwell was the lady of the house. Well, today what you saw, and that was something the defense pushed back on, by the way, that characterization. But today you saw the prosecution start to describe the house in vivid detail. They show that video of the search. They show a lot of graphic at times, photos of the house. And then they showed the massage table. But Tom... They didn't show the massage. They didn't show a picture of it. They didn't show video of it. They brought an actual massage table from his home into the courtroom. Obviously a moment where they wanted to have the most impact on that jury. And the massage table is, of course, where the alleged abuse of many of these girls took place. Stephanie Gosk for us. Stephanie, we thank you for that. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.